first study that we're looking at is going to be an update of our Resonate 2 data set, which is our frontline phase 3 study looking at Imbruvica versus Chlorambicil uh, for the treatment of patients 65 or older with active CLL. Uh, that study was originally reported out at last ASH um, and showed an impressive PFS benefit as well as an overall survival benefit and a benefit for response and hematologic improvement over the chemotherapeutic agent chlorambicil. And then here today at the ASH we're going to be showing 29 months of follow-up of these patients um, and it shows really impressive continued tolerability of ibrutinib. 77% of these 70-year-old patients actually continue to take daily ibrutinib on study. Um, and maybe even more impressive is, is the progression-free survival. Um, about 90% of the patients are progression-free now with over two years of follow-up. Uh, you look at the high-risk subgroups and it's really interesting because what we traditionally consider as bad prognostic features in CLL, things such as deletion 11Q or the immunoglobulin heavy chain gene mutational status, did not confer any adverse outcomes with ibrutinib. Um, so it suggests that ibrutinib may be even more effective in these high-risk groups um, than what you would expect to see with any traditional chemotherapeutic regimen.